Hi, I'm Yar and I'm back to you today with another Webflow tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at how to make a slider using the Splice.js library. Now the Splice.js library is a cool library with a lot of options that we're going to test out today. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and drop a comment to show us some of your Splice.js builds. Let's get to work. All right, so let's build the slider. Now I'm going to be building the slider from scratch, so bear with me here. Uh, let's start with adding the layout. Now, first we need to add main wrapper. So we'll call this main and then we'll give it a tag of main. So this is the first div block we add to the body. And then we're going to add a div block inside it. That will be our section. So that will be a normal div block. And then it will be called section home. And section home will be full view port. So we'll make it 100 dw dvw so that's dynamic view width and 100 dvh that's dynamic view height so now that this section is in the full page uh, we're gonna make it display flex and then we're gonna align everything in the center so that everything inside this section is in the center of the page and then we're gonna add the first div block which will be our container so we'll call this container and this will be, uh, let's say, 80 rams. It will be auto margins on the side. And then we can make it sizing grow or we can give it 100% width. And then we're going to give it some padding. So that's some padding here and there. Now this is looking good. Uh, we're going to add another div block inside this and we're going to call this plight. Now this is going to be our, the container of our slider and inside it there will be the collection list now I've already made a collection it's called products and it already has the picture item that I want to be pulling so I'm gonna click products as the source and then I'm gonna go back to my collection and then I'm gonna add div block inside and I'm gonna call this div block slide uh, image wrap so this will be my image wrapper inside it there will be an image and that will be the image main image and uh, main image will be image we'll, we'll call it slide image and it will be 100 percent view width and we'll give it a height of let's say 700 or let's say 40 runs and we'll make it contain so now this is looking good. Okay, so next we're going to look into Splide. Now we're going to follow a specific structure that they give to us. So now you can go to splidejs.com. It's a pretty cool library. They have premium features, as you can see here. They have some basic stuff, different variations, different options. We're going to look into some of these options right now. So we're going to go to get started first. We need to install the library on our project. So we're going to use a CDN option. We're going to click on the CDN option. We're going to copy the script code and then we're going to go to our page. We're going to go down. We're going to paste this before closing body tag right here. Save. Also, we're going to copy this style code. And these are the styles and we're going to paste this inside the head tag. We're going to save and that's it for that. And then as we continue reading through the documentations, we're going to see here the HTML structure. So first we need a section called Splide and then inside it there is Splide underscore underscore track and then inside it Splide underscore underscore list and then Splide underscore underscore slide. So we're going to follow that structure. So Webflow gives us the collection in a similar, kind of similar manner. So we're going to have the block called slide, splide. And then inside it is the collection. And this one will be called splide underscore underscore track. And the collection list will be splide underscore underscore list. And the collection item will be splide underscore underscore slide. So it's a splied slide. And then that's basically it. Now, all we need to do is get the code that initiates this slider. So that will be this code right here. So 
this code will basically start the slider whenever we load the page and that's what we want so let's try that and if we publish here uh, we're going to see that it's working but in a basic view so this is it this is the slider you can you can see the arrows here the navigation here of the slider it's uh, draggable uh, it's not looping but it's draggable it's pretty cool the speed is nice it's it's basic pretty basic but it works very nicely so we're going to see how we can add more options to this and uh, we can go to options here on the documentations and we can see on the top of the options there is this uh, option called type loop and this will make our sliders loop uh, per page is how many items we can view per page and uh, these are all the options that we can use in Splite Slider. Uh, now we're going to start with type and we're going to make it loop so that it loops infinitely because right now it stops at the end and we can go here and add the options so that will be here and then Oh, sorry, we're going to get this type loop. So type will be loop. All right, let's save this. Because right now it stops at the end, like or at the beginning. But now it should go infinitely. Now, as you can see, I can loop through it on both sides that's great let's see what other options we can add so I think these are for metadata the rewind option is uh, where the slider goes back to the beginning just rewinds like this uh, now this does not work with the loop mode but we can just have a look at it we can try it out to remove loop mode so we can delete this and add this one. So this will be rewind true. And let's save this. And let's try this out. So if we refresh, we get to the end and we click, it just goes back. But I prefer the loop option. So let's go back to that. Let's go back to type loop. Try to adjust the speed as well. So let's try to do that. Let's, let's say speed is maybe speed. And so the default is five. What is the default? It's 400. So maybe we can have 800. Let's try that. So save. And then we publish. And this will make our sliders basically slower. As you can see now, they're slower. And they have 800 milliseconds per movement. Uh, we can adjust the rewind speed if we have that. The rewind by drag the width so there are many different options that we can adjust for the layout so we can have a look so per page now we have one item per page and that's what we want but let's say if we want more than one item we will go and add a per page so if we have let's say per page two or three actually so how that will look like. So here we have three items. We can loop through them. And there is also the free option, which is nice as well. So um, these are the pagination options. This is where you can have a pagination on the side. Then you can slide it, style it. Uh, the drag option. So this drag, I want to have drag free, an option called drag free. And that will make the slider drag freely throughout 
our when when we drag it right you see you can stop here you can stop here you can stop whenever so just keeps on dragging this is nice what else do we have so snap so this is basically the opposite of that uh, this is if I don't want it to drag or if I want some sections specifically to not be draggable and um, this is if I want to adjust the arrows to strings so that's basically it now there are many options that you can see there is a wheel option so you can um, scroll through it with the wheel uh, there's a direction option many different cool options to do also they have some examples that you can uh, look through um, I think themes was a nice slider example these are very nice sliders now in our case we want to adjust our slider so we are gonna have uh, one per page so that will be one per page and then we're gonna have um, so we're going to make this into relative our section we're going to add a div that will be background background text image this will be an image that I have here so this will be in the background uh, this element will be actually in the absolute position it will be full page the background will be contained or actually will be custom and just give it 50 rems and will not dial it maybe 60 rems and it will have an opacity of 60 percent 50 percent and will be minus one so it's in the back that's about it so if we publish now to see that we have some background in the back and the shoes goes around and I want to disable this so I'm gonna add another option called pagination so it's called pagination option I'm gonna say false if you go here Yes, yeah, so pagination will be false. So no paginations. And also, let's see. Yes, yeah, so there is no pagination now. And we can still scroll freely through the shoes, which is pretty cool. And that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can give us support so that I can make more Webflow videos. You'll find the clonable in the description below. If you want that project, do clone it, find the link there and do share with us what you make out of it. I would love to see what you guys are working on. See you in the next one.